is not presidential, arguing it's just the opposite. In his view, what Trump calls the liberal media is stacked against him. So he says social media helps him evade reporters to speak directly to his supporters, his message unfiltered. The fake media is trying to silence us, but we will not let them because the people know the truth. The fake media tried to stop us from going to the White House, but I'm president and they're not. But more moderate members of the president's own Republican Party continue to urge Trump to tone down his rhetoric. It's unfortunate, and uh, people are now begging the president not to do this. But Trump's inner circle is undeterred, arguing the response is proportionate and appropriate, given the large number of what they call outrageous personal attacks against the president. This is a president who fights fire with fire and certainly will not be allowed to be bullied by liberal media and the liberal elites within the media or Hollywood or anywhere else. Within minutes of Trump posting his wrestling tweet, it attracted tens of thousands of likes. has not been deleted. Further proof that no matter how vulgar some would say or how violent his social media messages may be, there's no sign Trump's media strategy has changed. Kimberly Kelsey, Al Jazeera, Washington. Patrick Hillsman is a New York-based journalist. He joins us now from New York via Skype. Very good to have you with us. What's your response to this latest tweet? I think that we're looking at a president that clearly is trying to send a message to his base. We know very well that his base does not like what they broadly term the media. And I think that it's also probably a rather crude intimidation tactic Wait, against journalists who he feels are increasingly closing in on him. Mm-hmm. And what is his thing about journalists? Is it because they hit home? Is there something else going on here? Well, this is a president who ran on fear. He ran on fear of ISIS, fear of immigrants, fear of China. And we see right now who he's really afraid of are American journalists. Uh, Anybody who's critical of him, he seems to have a problem with. And for him, journalists make a perfect enemy. And if he's inciting violence, how come Twitter continues to allow this to happen? I'm not sure what uh, I'm not sure what Twitter's policy on that is specifically, but I think that this is typical of somebody with authoritarian tendencies. This type of rhetoric against the media is the sort of thing you would expect from Putin or Erdogan, not from a sitting U.S. president. He also seems to have a particular disdain for women journalists. I would like to point out that there are many women journalists on the front lines in Mosul and Syria who risk beheading, who risk being blown up by car bombs. So I don't think that his crude attempts and his sexist attempts to intimidate journalists will work. But it works on his supporters, doesn't it? I mean, they seem to like everything they hear from him. They certainly do. They certainly do. And I think that this is a, this is a major problem. And in a way, you could almost see it as inciting the mob against the free press. So how can the free press, how can journalists respond to this in a way that they don't themselves become targets of Donald Trump? Well, there, there is a bright side in the sense that the most powerful man in the world who has the ability to launch nuclear weapons is frightened of journalists. I see that as encouraging. It it shows that clearly he's in a panic mode because the truth hurts. Okay, and it's not just him, is it? I mean, he's, he's got those who surround him defending these sort of tweets, saying that it's fine and agreeing that it's modern day way of presidential behavior. Certainly. Well, I'd like to point out that Barack Obama also had Twitter, and he never engaged in this sort of base behavior that's below any elected official, much less the president of the United States. But uh, his base eats it right up, and he seems to be hovering at around 35%, and he wants to just keep throwing more red meat to his base. It is quite extraordinary. Patrick Hillsman, thank you. (laughs) Thank you so much. Lots more still ahead on Al Jazeera. Outrage as the U.S. bar.